Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to explore, explain, and demonstrate the differences between finger style soloing and the dedicated two finger technique for classical guitar soloing. Okay, I want to demonstrate the differences so you can clearly hear and distinguish between how a solo sounds in finger style on a classical guitar and how it sounds when you play the same solo using the two finger technique. Um, I get this question um, many, many times, especially from people who watch the classical versus acoustic series here on Lick and Riff. Do we actually need that technique if we can just play finger style? The answer is yes, because the dynamics of the strings on a classical guitar, of the nylon strings, the dynamics are very, very different from steel string acoustic guitars. Okay, so while you can play, okay, you can play block chords and you can play arpeggios and you can also do the lavish uh, demonstration and double arpeggios and dual arpeggios and tremolo techniques and whatnot on a classical guitar. Um, when it comes to soloing, it's not enough to just use the basic hand position. Okay, if you, uh, for example, you want to play it, okay, and you play it with a chord, it's fine. But when you want to actually play a solo, this technique is not enough. Okay, on, a, on an acoustic guitar, this would work fine because the strings have a lot more tension on an acoustic guitar. So it's enough to just pull them. But on a classical guitar, you want to think about the direction of the way you pick. Because if you pick, um, if you pull the string outside, you pull your finger outside so the string is raised and then let go, you get a little bit of a hit. It hits the, the frets and this hurts the sound. No matter what you do, you get that hit. You get that sound added to your, uh, to your note. While if you use the two finger technique, okay, the note is a lot clearer and it has a lot more volume. You don't have to, okay, you don't have to attack like uh, in flamenco in order to produce a clear sound. Okay, even if you, even if you just, even if you just try it out on, on one note, you see that, okay, you get a, a better sound than when you use the finger style, okay, technique. Okay, uh, especially if you have fingernails. But us finger pickers, uh, acoustic finger pickers, we don't usually have nails, long nails, okay, manicured and taken care of um, like classical guitar players. So you, you would actually do yourself a favor if you're playing finger style on a classical guitar to actually learn this position, okay, of of the two finger technique. Now in flamenco, they um, use their thumb as an anchor. Okay, so they can attack the string and get that strong sound. Okay, and the string still does not hit the fret. Okay, because you're not pulling it outwards. You're actually, actually picking it inwards. So it springs back outside. Okay, that's the huge difference. So, okay, can you hear how clear this sound is, especially in comparison to this? Um, it's still the same classical sound, but the sound is more wholesome. It's louder and it's clearer. Also on the bass, okay, as, com as compared to or just the thumb, okay? But the thumb has kind of the same movement because you're picking downwards, 
okay? And here, you're picking upwards, so you're not picking outside. When you use your fingers, not your thumb, when you use your fingers, you're picking outside. The thumb goes downwards. That's why the thumb, okay? That's why the thumb produces a closer sound. But the, the, the two finger technique, okay, produces a louder sound and okay, it produces a more intentional sound. It produces the classical sound. That's the main difference. Um, now, if you want to play it on an acoustic guitar, surprise, uh, <laughs> If you want to play it on an acoustic guitar, you won't get the same result. Uh, yeah, because, because now, because of the lower action, it would produce exactly the opposite result. Um, if you play this technique, yeah, you're hitting the frets. <coughs> you're hitting the steel frets. So you do want to pick using your fingers to get the clear, the clearer sound, unless it's a bass note, and then the the steel fret they actually can produce a buzzing, dirty sound that some people like. Okay, so when it comes to bass soloing, the difference it's not such a huge difference. Okay, but when it comes to the high notes. Okay. Okay. Because of the tension. Okay. The. Okay. The tension uh, enables you to pick. Okay. With your fingers and get a decent sound. While if you. Okay. While you if. Um, while if you pick using uh, your two fingers, you might get closer to the classical sound, okay, but, um, but you have to be really careful to, to, um, to pick the string at exactly the right amount of, uh, force, so you don't choke the note, okay, so that's, uh, that's my demonstration why. I hope you can hear the difference. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to demonstrate it again on the classical guitar. Okay, so um, again, if you pick, okay, using your fingers, okay, you get a watered down solo. You get a watered down sound. Um, now, you don't have much choice when you do. Okay, when you do um, some intervals. Okay, if you do. Okay, if you do a third. Okay, you can. You might get away with it. Okay. Okay, it needs a little bit of practice. I'm obviously not a classical player. I'm a. I'm a fingerstyle player. So, so thirds might might work. Okay, but. Um, but sixth harmonies, there's no way to play them with just one finger. You can you can mute, but then you hear this in the middle. Okay, uh, you, you still get that muted string, and because it's a fat string and not a thin string like on an acoustic guitar, you actually hear this noise and it gets in the way. Um, it's always. A little bit convoluted to talk about um, to talk about sound, but I hope I managed to demonstrate the difference between finger style and and a clean okay, and a clean intentional full soloing sound on a classical. So that's why the two finger technique exists. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.